Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I said I was going to do a video on reverse and trim controls, so here it is, a little bit too late. Went down to Austin to the Formula One race. Awesome time. However, I caught a cold down there, so I've been on my butt for the last few days. So I thought I'd do a video on how I did my Skookum R, the reverse cable, and the um, the trim actuator. I think it's a I think it's a winner. I hope people uh, uh, like it and hope that they might do the same. It's uh, it's easy, it's easy to wire, it's easy to install, and it's actually functional. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. I'm gonna turn the phone around here for a second. Okay, so we're all very familiar with the Triple S stainless steel um, controls for the reverse and the trim. They sell two of them. One is a, a dual lever and one is a single lever like this one here, this is my reverse. On my steering wheel right here, this is my, this is my trim, it's literally, uh, running with the, my thumb in there, touch of a touch of my thumb, and that's how I run this. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the switch and a little bit about these uh, these triple S stainless steel levers. Okay, I'm going to have to spin the phone around and do this kind of manually. So the triple S stainless steel levers, they're super nice, really like them, but they are not cheap. And I I kind of did a breakdown on how I did mine what what it costs to do all this stuff so i'm gonna i wrote it on the bow of the 3.8 that i'm building so i'm gonna spin the phone around see if i can talk a little bit about this so here's the the dual lever um triple s is 470 dollars the single is 370 dollars so it's a hundred dollar difference so i saved a hundred dollars by having the single lever in my boat you also need a cable to actuate that so those are 120 dollars so by not having the dual lever and not having a cable, I saved $220 so far in my um, steering and reverse mechanism. Now, this is the actuator that I use, the, uh, the Lenco. I buy them right off of Amazon and those are $168. So you take off my savings of 220 by not having the cable and the dual uh, lever. Minus 168, I'm still up $52 and I have an actuator. And now the only other thing that I have to buy is a switch that's on my steering wheel and off of Amazon. Again, those are $15. So I am up $37 um, by having the, the, um, the trim set up the way I do. Not a huge savings, right? But the critical part is my trim actually works. It's, it's awesome. Um, with the, the, the triple S stainless ones. So what happens when you're, um, with with the manual lever trim right now i've got the trim pointed down right well the water's coming straight out of here and then i'm we're trying to reforce redirect that water with just this very nozzle and what what, what do you think that's that's gonna do when that water is coming out straight and then you try to force it to go down that's going to take a lot of force and a lot of pressure to do that and that nozzle wants to um, it wants to self-center itself because of the straight water that's coming out of the forward section of the pump so it's not a uh it's not that the levers don't work it's just that there's so much pressure trying to center that nozzle you're you'd have to push against it what i have been able to do successfully with the two lever system is at an idle you can fight that pressure and maybe put a little bit nose down for a, a nice quick launch but as soon as you get up to speed that nozzle self-centers itself and you don't have any trim and because like if you're doing 50 or 60 there is so much water coming out there's no way with that little cable and that tiny little lever that you're going to be able to um overpower essentially that force so with this system with this lenco um this these things have 500 pounds of of force that uh, is able to drive these so i'm going to interject a little video of this thing running and all i did was up here i put a, a little bracket right up in the very corner of my transom well and, it, and just lined it up with the with the trim lever. So oddly enough, these Lencos have two and a quarter inches of travel. Um, you can get some shorter, you can get some longer, but the stock Yamaha trim nozzle has, I think I just measured it, it's two and three eighths. So what that means is um, you're going to, um, you're gonna bottom it out a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just kind of um, careful with it when I go all the way down that I don't bottom out. And essentially that Lenko with 500 pounds, I could probably break that lever off. 
um, if I if I did that wrong. So I kind of got lucky in the fact that that Lenco it just naturally fit perfectly right up in the in the um, transom well, and that's how I run it. So that's how I did it. Um, if I'm not an electrician, I am learning a lot as I go. Um, this is this. This is a switch. I buy these off of Amazon. They've got a rubberized thing to make the, the top of it waterproof. And all these things are, it's like a cross pole. It's a six blade cross pole switch. And all you would need to do these two. And these, I really like these ones off of Amazon because it comes with these little wires already for it. Um, these two, obviously, um, the center poles are going to go to your straight to your battery, a positive and a negative. And all these switches do is they, they cross the polarity. So well, by having them there and then what these, I'm going to put the phone down. No, I'm not. So these little wires, what they do, if you, you put one on the back, um, actually you put this on, on one pole and then this goes to your Lenko and then you cross these over. So it goes from here up and over to that pole. So, and then this one goes from this up and over to that pole. So it makes an X over there and all it does is reverse the polarity. And I really like these temporary switches. They make some that once you touch them, they will go all the way up or go all the way down. But I don't like that because it's, it's literally just a, just a touch of it and you're getting all the trim and the movement that you need to effectively trim the bow out just a little bit and get pick up a couple extra knots and or trim it down and get a nice quick launch. I really like this system, the, the single lever um, triple S and the handle or on the steering wheel mount um, trim. So that's my, that's my secret, that's how I do it. I love it, I'm gonna do that on all my boat builds from here on out. Um, like I said, it, it, big whoop, it saves me $37, but it actually creates a trim that works. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the thoughts. Um, this is the, the Skookamar here is my first one that I've done. I've, I've ridden this boat uh, seven or eight times and I haven't had a single issue with it yet. So it seems to be working. Okay. I am a little nervous about the little, the little trim arms, uh, possibly breaking off, but, uh, no issues as of yet. I'll keep you posted if that does and, and maybe come up with ways to fix it. But so far, so good. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.